welcome back to Automotive Solutions. Today I have a Nissan Qashqai 2012 with uh, an airbag fault. I'll show you uh, the fault code. Try to get rid of that glare. It's a B1049 driver's airbag module open. And if you listen to the steering wheel, it's rather noisy and also a flashing airbag light. So I'll get on with uh, getting the steering wheel disassembled to uh, change the airbag squib or clock spring. So first step will be to disconnect the battery and leave it for a few minutes and then uh, get dismantling. This piece around the ignition barrel just pulls off and then underneath the column there are I think four Phillips screws to undo so I'll just get undo those. I need to remove the actual airbag module this piece here itself so there's a couple of release points in that hole there one this side one the other side which you can use a, a flat blade screwdriver So, what you're trying to press with the uh, screwdriver with these prongs here. So the flat of the screwdriver was doing that. Which moved the, uh, the prongs away from these hooks here and the bottom of the airbag this peg here goes in this rubber bush there so that needs to be pulled as well a bit fiddly but uh, it's out just got to disconnect the wiring now so it's going to be this plug here this multi-plug here and this multi-plug here a little black tab needs lifting up and then pull the connector off just the remaining clips here they're a little bit on the tight with one hand two so those two clips there Connector plugs, that's your airbag connector. We'll store the airbag that way down, out of the way. Make sure steering wheel is in the straight head position, both wheels are pointing forward. And I think the next step is steering wheel off. and there's a mark on the column, a line on the column there, and on the wheel, there's a mark there as well, to put the steering wheel back on in the same place. Now, we want to split the top half and the bottom half of the shroud. I use a plastic trim tool. Just ease it into the gaps. You 
may have to de adjust the, the column adjuster. Cut the key out. Okay, so I'm hopefully just going to leave the, uh, the cows just laying out the way because they don't seem to want to come out very easily. I don't want to break any plastic. So the indicator stalk and the wiper stalk, there is a sprung clip here and a sprung clip in there. If you hold them together, give it a wiggle, that falls out of the way. Uh, same on the other side. In fact, that one comes off totally because it goes in the plug. Um, no doubt there's some wiring somewhere, probably under here. So there be a, a plug or two to take off. And then the, uh, I think there is, I'll get the torch. I think there is a screw in. In there and one in there and that's the new one so if I actually keep that in the middle the new one don't rotate it and on the back yeah just one plug by the looks of it on the back so and one on the side there and one on that side for the stalks which are hanging off. So hopefully, get that plug undone underneath. Um, get the plug undone underneath and uh, ready for the new one, hopefully. Get the screws out. We'll keep at it. Right in the yellow, out of the way. Another plug there. Oh, we're going to take the screws out the middle. These two. See what we've got. some sort up there. Just need to squeeze in one way or another. That's it. Another wire on here. Looks like on the back, pretty sure that's going to be going to have to come off to be fitted on the rear of the new one by the looks of it. So I'll take that off. There's three little tiny screws on there. So I'll take that off. We can refit. The screws already come in the holes there. Gonna clip this on while it's slightly loose, it's probably gonna be a bit little bit easier. Yellow one in first. Followed by grey. Screws to do back up.
Okay, clip the uh, stalks back on. Make sure the clip's gone in at the back, which it has. I think we're at the point of putting the cowling back on. <clears throat> Final check. Got plugs on at the bottom there. Stalks are on, clips in at the back, two screws are tight. Okay, so cowling on next. Bit of a fiddle. Them on. Ah, screw's going to go in underneath. On. That clips back on there. Uh, next is steering wheel. Uh, before the wheel goes on, there is a clip here to stop the squib rotating. That goes through there. This peg here goes through the hole in the wheel and there's your mark to line up with the mark on the column. So marks are lined up there. Peg is through there. Tighten up and airbag on. So I'm going to plug these two in first. That one I think I'll plug in first. It's a bit tricky to show you here. Okay, so that slides in at the bottom into its bung. And that just drops into place, clicks in. That should be our airbag in, connected up. Put the battery back on, and we'll go from there. So I've just reconnected the battery. Switch the ignition on. Airbag lights flashing, it's probably going to need the uh, code reset on it. I'll do that first. Get my tool, scan tool out, we'll do that next. Okay, so it is a cash guy. 1.6 into airbag read the codes no current codes but there will be a history code for the airbag so we will go to 
fair coats. Recycle the key. And the airbag light has gone out, which is good. Still a little bit of noise from the column. It's lower down the noise. It's not up here, but not related to airbag anyway. So that seems to have addressed the airbag. So that is airbag squib or clock spring, as you call it, on a Nissan Qashqai 2012. If you like this video, please hit like. If you want to subscribe, there'll be more videos coming as well. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Okay, quick confirmation the uh, clock spring squib is faulty. Just doing a measurement test. And as you can see, we're 80 odd ohms. There should be virtually no changes as you rotate it. Sometimes you get a better reading, sometimes it goes out in circuit. So Definite fault with the uh, clock spring airbag squib. There you have it.